Hi there, I'm a sea turtle, and today I'm going to share my story. If you knew how tough it was to be a baby turtle, you'd totally understand why we're so relaxed. Because if we survive the first few months on this planet, we can live for a hundred years or more, and there's not much else that can stir us up. At least, that's what I thought. Let me start all the way at the beginning. Yeah, you guessed right, that's me, exactly 20 seconds old. Just hatched, struggling to make it to the surface, but I made it. Now, where there's one baby turtle, you can bet there are more. Did I say more? I meant way more, like hundreds. Now the problem is, we're pretty easy prey and there are many creatures out there who know that. There are crabs, birds, and dogs waiting to feast. Dangers await us little ones everywhere. Only about 1% of us actually make it to the ocean alive and survive our first year. But I, I was one of the lucky ones. I made it. Against all odds, I reached the water, dove through the waves, and swam deeper and deeper into the open ocean. I was free. Some think that the life of a turtle can be a bit boring, but for me, this was never a problem. Just look around. There's fun and adventure everywhere. Life was good. I'm now 25 years old, which is actually quite young for us sea turtles. My Aunt Myrtle, she's 90. I've traveled thousands of miles across the Pacific Ocean and boy, have I seen a lot. But everything changed today. I was swimming in the deep ocean where there's so much food. Going here once in a while and filling up on seagrass can keep me going for days. But then it happened. I was eating peacefully when I saw a giant net coming up behind me, decimating the seafloor and engulfing everything in its path. There was a boat far above the sea hauling the net as it scraped the seafloor, taking fish, shellfish, hundred-year-old coral, and more along with it, leaving behind an eerie, barren path of an ecosystem destroyed. I desperately tried to swim away, but the net was swallowing me with all the other sea life in its path. I can ordinarily hold my breath for more than four hours, but us sea turtles, when we're stressed, we can drown in a matter of minutes. I desperately fought to free myself from the net so I could get to the top of the ocean for a breath of air. But the net just kept dragging me down along the bottom of the deep sea floor. Eventually, I had to take a breath, <laughs> but instead air, my lungs filled with water. Help! The sea turtle perished with thousands of other sea creatures and marine life caught by a single bottom trawler. Her lifeless body was hoisted onto the ship and spilled out onto the deck with thousands of pounds of other sea creatures, most still flapping and flailing as they suffocated around her. Bottom trawling is indiscriminate. Roughly a quarter of the world's seafood is caught through bottom trawling, and it's estimated that up to 90% of what is caught is bycatch that's later discarded. We've lost half of all marine life over the past 50 years, but it doesn't have to continue. Very few of us depend on eating fish for our survival. We can take the immediate step of leaving sea animals off our plates, ending our demand for these destructive commercial practices. Please, if you care about sea turtles and the dolphins, sharks, and all the creatures who call the ocean home, leave sea animals off your plate. By switching to plant-based foods, we can change the course of history and help our ocean heal.